story is called Duck Says Don't. I wonder what adventures the duck may have. Let's have a look together. Duck lived on Goose's pond. It was a beautiful pond and the water was clear and sparkly. The sun shone and everyone was happy. One day, Goose told Duck, I have a very important job for you and I'm going on holiday and I want you to look after the pond while I'm away. Duck could not believe it. Goose wants me to look after the pond, he thought. I am in charge. Goose, I will do my very best, he promised. The next day, Duck was up early watching over his beautiful pond. And suddenly he spotted the dragonflies racing. Stop that! He quacked. I am in charge of this pond and you should not be buzzing about all over it. We are flying, duck, said the dragonflies in surprise. That's what we do. Not here you don't, said duck. That's tall then, he thought. But just to make sure, duck fetched some wood and he hammered late into the night. The next morning there was a sign in the pond and it said No racing by order of duck in charge of pond. Later that day duck saw King Fisher fishing. Hey! he shouted. Stop that! Fishing is not allowed here. Then where can I fish? said Kingfisher sadly. Somewhere else, snapped Duck, and he waddled off with his bottom in the air. He fetched more wood and got busy with another sign. No fishing. Duck's rule must be obeyed. Duck was having a little nap when the frogs dived into the water. Splash! Frogs! Duck yelled. What do you think you're doing? Diving is forbidden. Forbidden? said the frogs angrily. Says who? Says me! snapped Duck. Duck! in charge of the pond so get out right now and soon there were signs up everywhere no diving no splashing no running no smiling no jumping no racing no fishing no 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 Duck sat down happily. Peace at last, he thought, but he couldn't settle. He looked at his perfect pond. The sun was shining and the air was still and there was not a splash, buzz or plop to be heard. In fact, there was nothing to be heard. It was much too quiet. Where is everyone? wailed Duck. What have I done? He jumped up in panic and he flew off to find his friends. <sighs> As Duck reached the meadow, he saw them playing together. This is fun, buzzed the dragonflies. No bossy duck telling us off, croaked the frogs. A tear, tear fell down Duck's cheek. With a heavy heart, he turned around and waddled back to Goose's pond. The friends were snoozing in the afternoon when they heard hammering coming from the pond. 
Can you believe it? muttered the frogs. The duck is putting up more signs. The banging went on deep into the night and next morning there was an enormous sign in the meadow. Duck is very, very sorry. Please come back. The message is for the dragonflies, frogs and King Fisher from Duck. When the friends arrived at Goose's Pond, they saw other signs too. Racing, welcome. Free fishing rods. New diving board. Running, jumping and swimming and splashing aloud. Silly duck, chirped King Fisher. We've missed you, even though you were very bossy, chuckled the frogs. When Goose came back from holiday, she said, Duck, you've done a grand job. I'll leave you in charge next time. Um, no thank you, Goose, Duck laughed. <laughs> Being in charge is um, much too hard. And from that day on, Goose's pond was the happiest pond in the world. And Duck never said another bossy word. And that was the adventures of the duck.